This episode is supported by 23andMe. It's easy to feel like you're an even mix of your parents, but that's not always the case. So who should you be blaming over those traits you don't like? What did you inherit from mom, and what came from dad? Colorblind? If you're a male, you can thank your mother. Red-green colorblindness is an X-linked disorder that affects nearly 6% of the male population worldwide, but only 0.4% of females. This is because males only inherit one X chromosome, which is from their mother, and that's where red-green colorblindness comes from. If you're a female, you have to get the X variant from both parents, so that 0.4% can blame dad as well. Balding? A big component comes from the X chromosome here too, so you likely inherited this from your mom. However, a study involving 52,000 people found that genes on other chromosomes can affect this condition, on top of environmental factors such as age, stress, and diet. So mom isn't entirely to blame. Research has also found that the shape of the end of your nose, the area above and below the lips, cheekbones, and the inner corner of the eye are highly influenced by genetics. And interestingly, the more they resemble your father as a child, the healthier you're likely to be. Why? Scientists believe that a father-child resemblance causes fathers to spend more time engaging in positive parenting, which ultimately contributes to healthier kids. Now, even though you get half of your 46 chromosomes from mom and the other half from dad, a study involving genetically diverse mice found that for 60% of genes, the paternal copy was more active than the maternal copy. This phenomenon is known as allelic imbalance. The same study also noted that the brains of these particular mice more closely resembled that of their dad than their mom. However, in humans, we actually see the opposite. Our brains are more similar to our mother, which is particularly true for daughters. Interestingly, the similar brain regions are actually associated with depressive conditions, suggesting that mood disorders may pass from mother to daughter. Biologists used to believe that all DNA came from the nucleus, but now we know that the mitochondria, aka the powerhouse of the cell, also kicks in some protein coding genes. And this mitochondrial DNA is specifically inherited from your mom because your dad's degraded immediately after fertilization. Considering how important mitochondrial DNA is in the cell, there's a stronger maternal link. Mutations in mitochondrial DNA have been associated with type 2 diabetes and Parkinson's disease, which more likely came from your mom. Maternal inheritance gave rise to the idea of a mitochondrial Eve, a woman who lived between 180,000 to 580,000 years ago, from which all human mitochondrial DNA is rooted. At the end of the day, it may seem like a lot of traits actually come from your mom, or at least from the X chromosome, and that's generally true genetically. The Y chromosome is very small and doesn't contain as many genes, and both females and males contain X chromosomes, which carry more genes. But as we continue to research more about ourselves at the genetic level, the division between what you got from your mom and what you got from your dad may become even more pronounced. If you want to know more about your own genetics, head to 23andMe.com slash ASAP who sponsored this episode. Whether you want to know about your chances of balding, of getting back hair, how your taste senses work, or who your ancestors are, 23andMe's kits will get you there. We both took the test and I found out the great news <laughs> that I have a higher likelihood of having a little upper back hair, which to this point I thought was not true until Greg recently it's real. told it me happened. that it is happening. He's almost 30 and it sprouted, so 23andMe was on that. <laughs> They knew. What I thought was really interesting is you can learn how certain factors affect your weight. Like for me, I'm more likely to be affected by fast food, which is a challenge I've taken on. I'm going to try and curve that habit, but I love fast food, but I'm trying to eat less. Be sure to head to 23andMe.com slash ASAP to get the latest promotion on your kit. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and we will see you next Thursday for a new video. Peace.